What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you a pool workout that you can do on the rings or on the bars. The first exercise we are gonna do is some 1.5 or modified pull up if you prefer. And how to do this exercise? We need to do a scapular pull up before doing each reps of our regular pull ups. This is the 0.5 added and not only this exercise will have you switch up your routine or your workout or even just the pull-up variation you're doing if you've been doing only regular pull-up and chin-up for a while now but this will make you stronger into different exercises such as the front lever for example why? because when you're doing the scapula pull-up at the beginning of a front lever and all its variation you're kind of doing the same motion, right? So if you're strong into that motion, you will automatically become better and stronger at different exercises, just like that. The next exercise we're gonna do, guys, is you don't even need a front lever to do advanced horizontal pulling movement. You just need to use the leverages. I often say it a lot of time into my older videos and I will still say it. If you want to make better gains, if you want to make things harder, you don't need to do advanced exercise. All you need is to get into a position that will challenge you. In that case, into my video, I did almost parallel to the ground horizontal body rows and this was pretty challenging already I can do some front lever rows but I did not want to use them into this workout so everyone that watched this video can scale this up or down depending on their fitness level We're gonna proceed with the ring curls as well and as you can see I'm almost touching the ground but this is not easy guys if you are not familiar with this exercise I suggest don't do what I'm doing into this video just get the correct leverages get 8 to 12 reps in do the move slowly and properly, proper form but this is pretty much a curl with your own body weight on the rings or on the bars after we're done with those three exercises we're gonna move on to some archer rows for four to six reps for two or three sets if you are fatigued just lower down the reps and the set and just like the ring curls and such, I often showcased it. You need to have a straight arm and one arm bent. You pull with the bent arm and you kinda do a side raise with the straight arm. Depending on what you want to work on, it's better to focus right now on the bent arm because we want the, the rowing arm to do most of the work. And just do the leverages thing again, if it's too hard, just take a couple step back, get more vertical to the ground and you will see um, adjustment into the difficulty of the exercise. After we are done with the archer rows guys, we are gonna move on to some false grip hell pull ups. You don't have to do them, okay? This is just if you want to get more gains and if you are not fatigued already, just like me, you need to have the false grip, you need to keep your core tight, you need to keep the hand hangs. We are gonna do it for 4 to 6 reps with 1 or 2 sets as well. This is pretty much a finisher, but if you don't want to do it or you are not strong enough, just don't do it. After we are done with that, guys, we cannot end this workout without the ring face pulls. I often say it and I will say it again. 
the real deal is often neglected in our training, but not over here on this channel. You will make sure to do those face pulls and get those muscles pumping and growing. We do not want imbalances in our training and on our physique. So just don't be like everyone, do it. With that guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to drop a like, a comment, share it, and even subscribe if you're not already. New video on Tuesday and Fridays. And I think the next video I'm gonna post is about how to progress with the rings uh, on different exercises, such as the pull-ups for an example. And I will see you the next time I upload, so peace out and bye.